Hello everyone. Thank you for joining the Save Your Skin Foundation today for another one of our informative videos. Today we are going to be talking about actinic keratosis. So what is actinic keratosis? An actinic keratosis, also known as solar keratosis, is a scaly or crusty growth. It occurs when the basal keratinocytes within the epidermis are repeatedly exposed to UV radiation. It most often appears on regions of the body that are frequently exposed to the sun. Most often, actinic keratoses develop slowly and reach the size of an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Early on, they may appear and disappear, only to then reappear later on. Most become red, but some will also be dark, pink, red, or a combination of these colors. Occasionally, they itch or produce a pricking or tender sensation. They can also become inflamed and surrounded by redness. In the rare instances, actinic keratosis can even bleed. Chronic exposure to UV radiation damages the DNA in the cells called keratinocytes. These cells are located in the upper layer of the epidermis. These cells then begin to grow abnormally, giving rise to actinic keratosis. If left untreated, it is not uncommon for actinic keratosis to progress into squamous cell carcinoma, and on the rare occasion, even basal cell carcinoma. The more keratoses you have, the greater the chance that one or more may turn into skin cancer. In fact, some scientists interpret actinic keratosis as an early form of squamous cell carcinoma. Actinic keratosis is benign to begin with. But if it's left untreated, it can develop into a precancerous lesion. Now let's look into some signs and symptoms of actinic keratosis. In most cases, actinic keratoses are felt before they are seen on the skin. They tend to feel like a rough patch of skin, scaly or bulgy, like a wart. They are often small to begin with, but will grow and become larger with time. It is also common for these spots to appear in clusters, rather than just one. They often appear red or pinkish, but may also contain melanin, giving rise to a darker color. Examine your skin regularly for lesions that look similar to these. However, it is not that simple, because many actinic keratoses have quite a different appearance. So if you find any unusual change in growth on your body, be suspicious and see your doctor promptly. Now let's look into some risk factors. People with a fair complexion, blonde, red hair, or light-colored eyes have a higher likelihood of developing actinic keratosis if they spend a lot of time in the sun. Individuals who live close to the equator are also more likely to develop actinic keratosis. The incidence of actinic keratosis is slightly higher in men than women. African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, and others with darker skin tones are not as susceptible as Caucasians, However, it's important to note that anyone can develop skin cancer. So how can you protect yourself? Chronic sun exposure is the cause of almost all actinic keratoses. Sun damage to the skin is cumulative, so even a brief period in the sun adds to the lifetime total. Cloudy days are not safe either, because 70 to 80% of UV rays can pass through the clouds. These harmful rays can also bounce off sand, snow, and other reflective surfaces, giving you extra exposure. Try and stay out of the sun as much as possible, especially during peak hours between 11 and 4 p.m. If you do go out in the sun, try and stay in a shaded area, and remember to protect yourself with a broad spectrum SPF sunscreen and reapply it. Also, try to cover up when exposed to the sun by wearing a hat, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, and even UV protective clothing. And remember, check your skin and your loved ones once a month. Pass these sun safety tips to others to help reduce everyone's chance of developing skin cancer. And if you have any questions or want to see more videos like this one, please visit our social media pages on our website. Thank you again. 